Congratulations. If you don't mind, I'm sure you have a few stories to tell this crowd. To all the people that have been influenced by stuff I did that was considered crazy at the time, like the kite that I built in Bowser's garage that my grandmother took our boat cover and sacrificed it to become the, car, the kite cover. That kite was not flyable. <laughs> it was a dangerous, we called it a bag on a stick. <laughs> and Wally Thayer took his car and auto sentry and pulled me behind that boat because I needed a lot of speed to get in the air. And to guarantee that it got in the air, I decided to take it over the ski jump on its first flight. <laughs> it didn't make it. <laughs> I crashed. It broke. It fell apart. But some citizen patriot photographer got a picture of that kite. It was unflyable, a bad angle, and I was hanging there wearing a pair of jump skis. <laughs> and it uh, it had maybe maybe a hundred foot flight and he got a picture of it and Dick Pope called me in 1958 and said Jack Wiley just went to work for Tommy Bartlett can you come to our place and work and fly our kite at Cypress Gardens we need a kite flyer it took me longer to convince my mother to drop out of college to go to Winter Haven than it did for Cypress Gardens to hire me but because of that, I went. And apparently a lot of people were, were watching because you all did wonders with that little ski club that we started on the shores of Phil Curtis's cottage at Clark Lake called Pine Riders Water Ski Club. Because you all did some great things that I didn't even know about until I came home for this ceremony this week. And I'm so proud of you all for doing all of this for something that I just thought was fun. And I, I want to thank you very much. I appreciate it more than you know. And this experience has been great for me and my family. And thank you very much.